under the house. Total pain to get under here. About half those wires got stuck on me. But anyway, so uh, they have an S thermostat and pretty much it gave them a report saying that the system turned off 19 times before hitting the satisfied temperature, uh, which tells me a drain switch uh, was tripped or something. So looking at this right now, I don't know if you can see this, but it's a low profile pump. So it doesn't take a lot of water to trip the uh, drain, uh, the, the float switch in there. Uh, so it's totally not level. So it's probably all, you know, when it gets a little overwhelmed, it all goes to one side and probably trips the drain switch. So uh, we're gonna try to level this thing the best we can. So uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, see? Totally not level. So, and it needs to be right about there. Oop, too much. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's level this way either. Nope. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking is happening. So, dig a hole, try to level it out. Well, if this blower ever needs to come out, that's going to be a pain. Uh, never understood when you guys use Unistrut. Especially the, the worst part about it is it's sitting on a platform. The Unistrut's holding the platform. So it's like, why didn't you just move it back there? And then see, it sits on top of the stand. So, yeah. Well, that blower mire is not going to get pulled <laughs> unless it dies. Alrighty, so we got it somewhat level. It's a lot better than it was. Hey. So we're trying this uh, this new double take app. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this is me under the house. I look creepy, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so pretty much this, uh, this drain switch right here is hooked into R. So this black wire runs to the uh, drain overflow and go comes back, ties into the wire going to the pump, and goes back to the pump, and then the pump connects to the R, leading to the thermostat. And uh, that's the issue there. Um, so what's happening is because it wasn't level, uh, because it wasn't level, it was uh, you know basically overwhelming it, puddling up in a quarter, and setting off the the uh, the float switch. So I leveled it out. Um, personally, if it were me though, when I was an installer, uh, if I installed this, I would have just dug a hole and put a regular one in there. It's because these low profile pumps, if they're not perfectly level, you get water all to one side and the water level will be high enough to trip the float switch in there. So, uh, but the pump's definitely pumping water. I actually saw it come out, it's pumped a bunch of times. So this guy is putting out a lot of water. So, um, but yeah, that's that little tiny black part. That's, that's, that's the reservoir. I mean, that's all, I mean, it fills that halfway and it starts to pump. So it's just like nonstop pumping. But anyway, um, now I got to see if I can get this door back on. Cause of course this is like right here. So yeah, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get you to look at my nose, but uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, we'll get this thing back together. So. Here we go. <laughs> so this is a brand new install. We got a no cool call. Uh, thermostat's on right now, no fan, nothing. Uh, so uh, I figured I'd come up here and take a look and there we go. So the pan's all full of water. Doesn't look like this is filled with water. So it's not draining for some reason. So we got to see what's going on with this. Uh, but basically it tripped the Drain switch, which cut the R connection to the thermostat. So if I do this, it should just come right on. We shall see what's going on, but uh, that's the primary drain. Looks like it might sag a little bit. So we'll see what's going on. But uh, what worries me is this, this is like bone dry. I don't even think there's water in the trap. And then this is the secondary, so. I'm going to get our PVC stuff and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, so the system came on. 
Uh, it was on a delay, but check that out. Yeah, totally not level. So all the water's running to that, that corner over there and dripping out into the pan. So we're gonna have to strap it up and try to level it up. Cause yeah, I can see it where it's sagging on that corner over there. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, cause look, I cut these open. There's like barely any water coming out. So, and I'm sure this pan's got water in it. So we shall uh, open up the pan and uh, go from there. And then we got our vacuum up here. So we'll suck out all the water. We'll um, blow air through the pipe, make sure it's clear. So yeah, so here we go. Alrighty, so I'm on the other side of the furnace. Uh, so I got my trusty two by four here. Just shove that in there like that and pick up on it like that. As you can see. Oh, you can get it level. And you hear that? That's the water leaking out of the primary. So I'm gonna do that and then strap it in place. So here we go. Okay, so here's a handy dandy trick when you're doing this. What you wanna do is you wanna pull this tight and then you're gonna put the screw in at an angle so it's actually gonna pull up on it. Little uh, trick I picked up as an installer, so yeah. And then we'll also be pulling up on my two by four with my uh, other foot, I guess. We'll see. Might have to make adjustments, but we'll see. Here we go. Alrighty, so we got our lifted, as you can see there. Now it's draining properly. And my little trick here, you know, pulls up on it. So now we got a nice level coil. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So yeah, that's all it took, just a little strap. So we're gonna go ahead and test the drain, but all the water that's in that pan is already draining out, as you can see. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fix this up a little more and then we'll be there. Okay, cool. So we got water draining out of the primary now. Uh, so basically it was just leaning so badly uh, that it was just all running to that corner and then overflowing and then dripping into the pan. So um, this is pipe dope on here. Don't use pipe dope, that's for gas, not for water. Use Teflon tape, it takes two seconds. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wipe this stuff off and put Teflon tape on both the primary and the secondary. And then I'm gonna fix the pitch on that with my trusty two by four. And then uh, we're gonna pour water and make sure it comes out the other end. So let's get on it. All right, so we got our all Teflon. See, now we'll go ahead and put these back in. Oh man, it was hot in that attic. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, as you saw the pan or the evaporator coil was not level. So it was all running to that corner and dripping into the safety drain pan. Thank God it was there. Otherwise uh, that would have been a nasty water damage, especially with all that mineral insulation in there. Uh, yeah, that's that stuff that looked like rocks. Uh, that's actually an insulation. It's old school, but it's an insulation. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so all the water went into the pan and the safety drain control or safety drain switch, uh, it was tripped, cut the R, uh, R power going to the thermostat, which wouldn't allow it to do anything. Uh, what I did was I went ahead and uh, leveled the drain and water started coming out of the primary, uh, as you saw, reconnected everything, poured water down the drain, uh, as you saw, the water came out. Uh, so yeah, we're good to go. But yeah, always level your uh, level your your evaporator coils because uh, otherwise that that will happen. It just completely bypass the drains altogether. Um, so when that happens, um, you know, because it, it was sitting on a stand, but you you still got to level it out. Like put throw a level on there, and make sure you know. So but thankfully, a little bit of uh, plumber's tape uh, goes a long way, and that little trick uh, helped level it uh, along with my trusty two by four that I found in the attic. So. And yeah, I did take it with me because those things come in handy sometimes, as you could see. You can use them for levers, you can use them to sit on stuff, you know, put them across the beams so when you're in the attic, you can sit on something. Uh, so yeah, they're very handy. But anyway, um, they're back up and running, they're happy, and uh, that issue has been fixed. So on to the next one. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am because I am horrible, horribly sweaty. <laughs> and uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. 
and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.